royalty free music all of a sudden copyright claim ah guys did you just see that you know i started a channel named mr turi gh where i do a lot of you know roaming and doing my own thing and whenever i'm going somewhere i'll just pick the phone and start shooting videos and by then i wasn't having this dimensional microphone so what i did was you no know, as time goes on i started uploading video one day i was so happy to understand that i owned the television and there was a music going on or they were playing a music clip so we all decided to dance you know and come and see me dancing and moving doing all the locomotive stuff and after that i just edited that video and posted it on mr Turi ga's channel i was so happy you know thinking i'm gonna get more views you know a small channel with you know a bigger goal but that's not what happened what happened was i had a copyright claim. copyright claim at that time i didn't know what copyright claim was so i went and do more research about it and i realized it was someone's legal asset which i was trying to you know kind of steal and pretend to be the sole owner of that asset at that moment the last option i had was to delete that video though it was a sad experience but that's just by the way wow can you see that spark 5 pro this is the phone i'll be using you know to do all the editings and the shootings the camera is clear and if you want i will recommend you buying one with a 128 gigabyte but that's not what we are doing today that's just by the way let me just put it up i was you know beginning to learn more and know more about the royalty free music and the copyright claim because i'm not the sole owner of that asset i don't have the right to publish it on my channel there it continues i started getting used to doing my own content without using any music at the background without infringing to bring out someone's content someone's legal content on my channel I came across an application called InShot. Previously, I was using VLLC or is it VLLO, whatever it is. And if you know that application, video editing app, if you know of it, kindly leave a comment in the comment section down below. So I continue from VLLO to InShot app. InShot app, I started using InShot app and I had time to learn more about InShot app. There, I moved to the music section of the InShot app and came across so many hundreds of royalty free music. So, I went to do more research about the royalty free music so that whenever I use this music, my videos won't get a copyright claim. So, I went and I did a lot of research and I realized after those short music maximum length of the music you get there is five minutes i think there i went and do more research and i realized those copyright free music in the InShot app can be used in your videos but one thing that you have to do is to give the owner a credit you know so before downloading those music into your video you have to copy the person's or the music's link where it will bring the owner of the song's name with you know some of the features and other stuff so that's what i did beginning of this year i started using the royalty free music in my tutorials where i taught people how to you know use the InShot app to edit videos with a lot of features and effects that have been upgraded on the InShot app so it's kind of you know updating people of any improvement on the InShot application i will do the video record it after that type whatever i have to say i won't talk i'll just type it so you read it and follow the instruction that's how i started it until i came across this microphone and this microphone so far has helped me a lot if you want some it is cheap to buy just check in the description below hit the you know link and it will direct you straight to jumia you can go there and buy it with affordable price until youtube introduced a new policy on the copyright claim today as i uploaded a video with one of those royalty free music from the InShot application i realized i had a copyright claim i didn't understand so what i did was i quickly went to my InShot application re-edit that video and remove all the music in the background after removing i resaved it after saving i re-uploaded it put all the descriptions the titles and other stuff so after all that i have to you know re-upload a new video the one with 
no royalty free music so after uploading that one i have to delete the one with the royalty free music which has gotten the copyright claim so that's what i did and after that i realized there was no problem starting with a copyright free music to copyright claims that was bro i didn't understand and i don't know the reason why it happened like that but that just by the way this video was a short video just to tell you guys be careful and stop using those royalty free music though it's not all but especially the ones in the insured application or else you are going to have copyright claims slash and other stuff like what i just got that's just by the way i'm so your boy habib educate i hope this video is educative don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so that whenever I upload videos like this, you will be the first person to be notified. Copyright claim, copyright claim. It doesn't make sense to me because this is what the application said. The InShot app said you can use it and also give the owner of the music a credit. And I've been doing that. I also give credit to the music. Just put on music and write or paste that link that I've copied concerning the owner of the music so that I won't get a copyright claim. But I did not know why I had the copyright claim. Guys, please, if you know the reason, kindly leave a comment in the comment section down below. We are here to learn and no one is perfect. I'm still your boy, Habib Educate, and I will see you in the next video. Salam.